What's going on guys, Lone PC here. Today's video is going to be all about what I use for streaming and recording videos. I'll go over the program I use to video edit as well, but I'm not going to go into video editing or how I do that. Um, it's strictly going to be OBS right now, and it's kind of a... It's OBS, but it's a slightly different version. It's called Streamlabs, and this is really tuned in for for streamers, um, but you can also record locally. There's a lot of features on here. It's really cool. You guys should check it out. Just go to Google and type in Streamlabs and download the application. Once it's downloaded and you open it up, it'll look like this. Uh, right now, the version I'm running is 1.11.2. I'm going to maximize it. I didn't want to because this middle section is going to be the main focus of your attention and it's duplicated because I'm recording this monitor. Um, over on the left you're going to see kind of a little widget here of tools and different things you can go to. Just simply hover your mouse over it and it'll tell you what exactly it is. Um, you got an alert box library. This is for like follow, subscribers, tips, all that sort of thing. You can you know, filter it by color. You can pick pre-made themes, a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, a lot of cool stuff to help you out. Speaking of themes, there's actually a theme tab which goes even into more depth. You can sort by the category of game, by most popular, just added, featured, and you kind of get an idea. There's a lot of different styles. I've used several of these. There's an app store. I haven't used this. I couldn't speak to anything here, but uh, my goals, I yeah, I don't use this either. Um, <laughs> I have my accounts linked, and that's about it. This is the highlighter. I don't use this either, but you can configure your replay buffers, and you can adjust your replay durations and set a hotkey for all that stuff. I, I don't use it. Um, to continue on, we got uh, Ultra Edition here. If you want to pay for it, you can. This is free, by the way, this application. Uh, the dashboard, which is very useful, it redirects you to their website, but it's also linked to your account. And if you're not logged in, please log in up here, and it'll it'll allow you to edit your stream in a in a in a way. There's widgets you can add. You can set up your tipping page. Um, you can check out your analytics, charity, cloud bot. Um, you can even look at themes and overlays again. There's logo makers, emote makers, YouTube thumbnails, a whole bunch of stuff on here that you guys, all you gotta, it's really straightforward. Click on anything like an alert box. And let's say you want to do donations, right? You want to edit this. You're going to enable them, the alert. How do you want the layout to be? Do you, would you want any sort of animations to the, uh, Donation alert, fade in, fade out, bounce in, slide out, etc. It goes into even more settings here. You could even edit the HTML if you wanted to. The sound volume, the duration of it, the text delay, everything. Font settings, variations, it's all here. Cloudbot. You can go into the different types of settings you want the, the thing to do while it's in your chat, whether it be cat protection or paragraph protection or emote protection, whatever it is. And this this is by far one of the best tools ever. So let's go ahead and take a look at editor again. We're going to go back down here. We were just at the dashboard. Cloudbot will take you to what I was just at, where you can edit the bot. Layout editor changes the layout of this. You can do it in many different ways. Um, we're going to keep it how it is. There's a help page here, and then there's settings, which is what we're going to be looking at right now. This is the, the meat of what you're going to want to be into and changing, and this is going to optimize your stream or your recording. It's going to make your stuff look nice or worse, depending on your situation with your inter internet speed and everything. So let's start going through some of this stuff. Uh, general, you're going to want to keep everything default exactly how it is. Multi-streaming is a thing if you upgrade the Ultra. Stream, you're going to want to connect all of your accounts or whatever accounts you feel necessary. I really only need YouTube. Let's take a look at 
the output tab here for streaming purposes well first off we want to be in advanced mode under output mode I think default is simple so you're going to want to change that to advanced if it's not already uh, audio track will be one encoder I use NV ENC which is NVIDIA's encoder for my video um, use whatever you have uh, default might be x264 that's just fine but if you have nvidia try to try to find one of these encoders here the nvenc um, keep this unticked for rate control when when you stream you it needs to be cbr for constant bit rate it can't be variable it can't fluctuate or else you get all that graininess so i put mine at 9000 that i find that to be a good spot for 1080p 60 frames for my setup Keyframe intervals, keep that at a two. My presets max performance, profile is high, and I have cycle visual tuning checked. Zero for GPU, two for max B frames. That's what I use to stream. I have, I have a, about a gigabyte down, about 20 megs upload speed. So for a 20 meg upload, that's what I use. What, generally you wanna use about half your upload speed, they say, they used to say, but now we're in gig speeds now, so it's kind of crazy. For recording, this is for local. Um, I keep my, keep my type of standard. This is my recording path. Yours will be wherever you want your recordings to go. Uh, keep this unticked. Recording format, MP4. Use audio track one as stated. Uh, same with this for streaming, audio track one. Uh, recording, same encoder there. But for the rate control, instead of CBR like streaming, I use CQP and I, my CQ level is at a 20. So the higher that number, technically the bittier, like the more pixely the video will be, the lower the number, the higher, the quality, like zero is lossless, let's just say that. So the higher the number, the worse the quality. Anywhere between 18 and 22 tends to be a good number to stick with for file size and quality. My max pre, uh, keyframe interval is zero. My preset is max quality profile high again with cycle visual tuning and zero and two max B frames. Um, audio. So we're gonna be using audio track one. None of these matter underneath unless you're using more than one, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, audio bit rate, the higher the better. So select what you want. You can even name it. Replay buffer, um, I enabled mine, mine's 20 seconds. That's what I use for output. Let's take a look at audio. Sample rate, size you size you want. Um, 44.1 and 44.8 aren't too noticeably different. 48 sounds better to me, so I like that. Stereo for both sides of the headphones. <laughs> Gotta have stereo. Desktop audio device one, which is whatever your audio device is. Mine happens to be a Razer USB sound card. Um, I'm not using any de uh, device for my secondary. My mic though, I have set to my Yeti. Yours will be whatever you have. You might even have more than one mic that you want to use. Under the video tab, I don't downscale mine, so the downscale filter, I don't think this does anything because I'm not downscaling. Um, but I have 1920 by 1080, that's what I use, that's my base, that's the output, so this does not matter. FPS type, I use common. You can use decimals, but it doesn't make sense. Just use common, like 30, 60, all that stuff. I have mine set to 60 right now. Hockeys, start streaming. I have insert, stop streaming, delete, start recording home, start recording again. So that it's right next to each other. It's easy to remember. It's right there. That's what I use when OBS is on. That'll trigger both streaming and recording accordingly. And that's all I have, hockey. But as you can see, you can... Even scenes, I probably should do that, to be quite honest with you. I have a couple of scenes that I like. Maybe F1 buttons for those. You know? Okay, advanced. Process priority, high. These are my video settings, MV12 for the color format. These are all default, by the way. I think this was on tick for me, but I forced GPU as a render device. Audio monitoring device, I just have default. I didn't change anything with that. It doesn't. My audio is not affected at all. It captures both my mic and the in-game or desktop audio just fine. Everything below here under recording was default. Not sure what any of that there means. Stream delay, 20 seconds. I have it disabled. Now you can. 
I probably should enable that to be quite honest with you. But that's that's but there is automatically a delay to begin with, so this would go on top of the traditional delay, which I don't really like. It uh, can automatically reconnect if it if it disconnects you. Um, I have it enabled just because sometimes I'm not paying attention when I should to OBS, and if I miss it, then I'm out. So that's good to have. I have 10 seconds there. Maximum of 20 tries. At that point, my internet's out. <laughs> we know it. Um, I don't don't really do anything with scene collections. Um, you guys can mess with that if you want. Notifications, you can turn them on. You can restore them. Whatever you guys want there. Appearance, you can make it nighttime. You can make it daytime. Whatever you want. Virtual webcam. You can even have a game, game overlay if you wanted to. Um, I haven't tested this out yet, but it's something you guys can definitely definitely look into. So that's it for the settings that I use. Um, we're going to go back to editor here. and This is how I like it. Um, this is actually a theme that I edited. I took a bunch of stuff out. I have stuff that's not showing up here that I, you know, that I could like my face cam and everything. Uh, got my start screen. Got my intermission screen, which we're which we're not using because I don't want my webcam to turn on. Ending screen, back soon screen, etc. You guys will figure it out all in the themes. But I wanted to show you my settings, what I use to record and what I use to stream. Um, and I did say I'd mention the uh, video program that I use to edit, and that is video. Right now it's VideoPad. It's a uh, free edition. I'm not sure if this is going to end, but I'll show you it here. VideoPad by NCH Software. So I've made a few videos off of it so far, and no watermarks, nothing, everything works fine. Reminds me a lot of Sony Vegas. So if you can use Sony Vegas, you can use this. So definitely give it a look. It's free. Maybe I'll put the link in the description for that as well. But uh, okay, this will be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed or helped you out, please hit the like button below. Subscribe if you have not. Click the bell for notifications and drop a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.